Good evening everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ya, alhamdulillah ya kita sudah memasuki rangkaian kedua dari DOAJ RJI DOAJ workshop series. Dan hari ini sudah bersama dengan kita pembicara atau guest speaker kita hari ini yaitu uh, Lenasha dari uh, sebagai managing editor dari DOAJ. Seperti kemarin-kemarin bahwa acara akan kita mulai terus kemudian ada sambutan setelah sambutan baru kemudian uh, guest speaker akan menjelaskan hari ini kita akan berbicara tentang Creative Common License in DOAJ Journals. So good evening everyone. Uh, I'm here as the moderator for today's events and we will discuss more about Creative Common License in DOAJ Journals. And Ms. Uh, Lena Shah will be our guest speaker today, and I will have this moderation in a bilingual mode. It means after I speak in Indonesia, and then later on I will explain it in English so that Lena will understand what we are talking about here. Dan untuk Bapak Ibu yang akan bertanya, silakan bisa langsung saja di grup chat, di Zoom grup chat. Karena kami akan membuka sesi tanya jawab di sesi lain ini hanya untuk lima penanya. Dan kami juga akan memilih dari semua pertanyaan tersebut ya. Tentu saja hari ini saya harapkan pertanyaan semuanya berkenaan dengan Creative Common License. Hadir bersama kita juga beberapa teman dari Creative Commons Indonesia dan teman-teman dari Associate Editors yang akan membedah jurnal dari para partisipan. Acara ini akan diakhiri jam 9 malam nanti. Bapak-Ibu saya harapkan untuk memute mic-nya dan kemudian uh, jika ada sesuatu bisa raise hand atau di grup di Zoom grup. Baik, tidak berlama-lama. Saya akan memasuki acara yang pertama yaitu sambutan dari uh, Bapak Wes Fatoni sudah ada sebagai Perwakilan dari pimpinan RJI, beliau adalah wakil ketua dari pengurus pusat RJI. Baik. Silakan Pak Wes. Terima kasih. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, honorable the guest speaker, Miss Lena Shah, yang saya hormati juga teman-teman di uh, editor DOAJ yang ada di RJI, para pengurus RJI, Taiwan Jurnal Indonesia, dan juga teman-teman serta dalam kegiatan RJI DOAJ Workshop Series. Syukur Alhamdulillah saya ucapkan bahwa kita bisa kembali mengadakan kegiatan yang insya Allah ini merupakan kegiatan rutin RJI dalam bentuk RJI DOAJ Workshop Series. Dan kelihatannya karena ini sudah seri kedua, sudah menarik ini bisa konsisten istiqomah untuk terus dilanjutkan. Jadi meskipun work from home, sejatinya kemudian kegiatan ini tidak kondisi ini tidak menghambat kita untuk terus belajar, terus mengembangkan wawasan. Tema yang akan dibedah di seri sekarang ini kan tema tentang Creative Common License in DOAJ. Kalau di kalangan Indonesia, kalangan para pengelola jurnal Indonesia, In journal editor in Indonesia, Creative Common License is uncommon. Jadi para pengelola jurnal itu mereka unfamiliar berkaitan tentang Creative Common License ini. Kenapa? Karena memang di dalam akreditasi jurnal nasional sendiri ini tidak menjadi salah satu kriteria penilaian. Nah, maka DOAJ kemudian juga RJI mencoba untuk membedah berkaitan tentang Creative Common License ini, mudah-mudahan nanti bisa menjadi sesuatu yang common, menjadi sesuatu yang familiar dan populer di antara para pengelola jurnal yang kemudian nanti bisa juga berkembang berikutnya di para penulis, para scholar di Indonesia, sehingga betul-betul bisa memberikan perhatian bagaimana ketika punya uh, Now she is in Singapore and she... Have to reviewing application from open access journal that apply to DOAJ. Ya. She is responsible for evaluating applications from many countries 
especially uh, one of them is Indonesia. And she is also analysis journals for the best practice in scholarly publishing and criteria and so on. The copyright licensing policies attend events in the region to improve the knowledge use of the OIG among academics juga menjadi concern dari beliau. Okay. Dan uh, she has graduated from uh, Nanyang Technological University of Singapore. And he, uh, sorry, her interest is in information sources and searching, information storage, human computer interaction, archive and record management, art and music sources and services, collection development and social computing and heritage informatics. This is the only uh, few point, few information about her and uh, I also welcoming her for this event. Lena, are you already uh, are you already in our room, right? Yes, I am. Okay. okay. So let so the time the time will be on you. It's about 30 minutes explanation and okay. then we we will continue with the question and answers or discussions. It's only we will leave it only five questions. Okay, and so all the questions should be related with what we are talking about today. Sure. Thank you. So, I will stop share. Okay. And for the host, please spotlight moves to Lena's uh, video and we will discuss about the license in Creative Commons. Okay. Okay, Lena, time is yours. Yeah. So can you see the screen? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's clear. Okay, so thank you for the beautiful welcome and uh, a good evening to all of you in Indonesia. I'm very happy to be here and thank you to the organizers for inviting me to this talk here today. My talk here is about uh, licensing policy of open access journals that apply to DOAJ. And I've been, like you said, I've been reviewing these journals for quite a few like two, three years now, and I would like to point out some of the common mistakes that I see when I review these journals. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, I think last week Tom spoke about copyright, and uh, today my topic is about licensing. Now, copyright and licensing are two very to two topics that go very close, very hand in hand, although they are two very different things they are very, very closely related. So while copyright talks about ownership, ownership of the document, ownership of uh, whatever content that you produce, licensing talks about providing permission and what are the conditions of reuse for that particular content that you have created. Um, I would like to give an analogy at this point so that it sticks. Um, let's say you go for a walk, um, you go towards the park, you take a picture of something you see in the park. Let's say it's a bird and there's a background with some nice trees and benches and there's a bird. So you take, you remove your phone, you take a picture and the picture is on your phone. You have taken it with your artistic angle. So it's your content, you have produced it. So with this picture on your phone, you are the copyright owner of that particular picture. Now you come back home and you show this picture to let's say one of your family members. Now, your family member may want to reuse this particular picture. So what does, what does the, he or she ask you? He asks you for permission. So when you give them permission, yes, you can reuse this picture in your, in your picture book or you can reuse it to print. So that is a permission that you're giving, but you're giving this permission verbally. Now, let's say tomorrow you wake up and you decide you want to share this picture online. So how are you going to give permission for everybody to reuse? Everybody, I mean, your picture is on, online, it's on the internet. You can't have everybody calling you and asking you, can I use it for this purpose or that purpose? So what you do is you put your picture, you put your copyright, you're the copyright owner and you give a license. So when you provide a license along with your content, then you provide the permissions that you are giving as the copyright owner, the conditions and the permissions for reuse. So with that in your, in the back of your mind, come back to the scholarly journals, the topic of today's talk. 
So if you want to uh, get your scholarly journal indexed in DOAG, what is the licensing policy and what, what do you need to do? So the criteria from DOAJ is uh, very clear and very simple that you need to publish your licensing terms for use and reuse. It should be clearly stated on the website. The licensing policy should be clearly stated on the website. And to do this, you may either write it in your own words, you may use similar terms or some uh, simple language to describe your licensing, or you could use the Creative Commons license. Now DOAJ strongly recommends the use of Creative Commons license for this purpose, and we will go further into this. What are Creative Commons license? These are public licenses that you can use to indicate what people can do or cannot do with your work, because as a copyright owner, you are the one who gives the permission. These are legal tools to give permissions in advance. Like what I said, when you publish your article or let it be your picture or something that you have generated online, then you give permission in advance to share and reuse your work. So these are the conditions based on your choice. And since this work is automatically protected by copyright, that means the owners need to, the others will ask you for your permission. Now there is a misconception that it's only if the authors retain the copyright, then you can use the Creative Commons license. But this is a misconception, uh, whether it is the author retaining the copyright or if the copyright is transferred to the publisher. In either case, CC licensing can be used with this. To, to have a general idea of what these CC licenses are, they come with three layers. The topmost layer is the legal code, which is the language and the text format, which is very technical. The second layer is a human readable format, which is something that we as normal people can read and understand. And that is usually the link that you provide to it, something that you can read and understand. The third layer is a machine readable, the final layer of the license which is useful when you share it online and for search, search engines to discover your work. This third layer, the machine readable layer is useful. So when you think of Creative Commons license, there are four elements in these license which you, which you should be very familiar with. The first one, the first icon is the picture of the man, which stands for the attribution. So when, when this symbol is used, it means you must give proper credit to the copyright owner, the creator of the content, give proper credit and attribution to the person. The second symbol you see there is the C symbol or something that's an arrow mark, which is looking the other way, which stands for the share alike. So if, if something is shared with this symbol, it means that if, if the user wants to reuse this content, then they must use the same license as the original work had. So if it is CCBYSA, I can only reuse and share using CCBYSA. The third icon you see there is quite self-explanatory. It's the dollar sign with the cross on it. So if a content is shared with this particular symbol, it means you can only use it for non-commercial purposes. The last one, the one with the equal to sign. So this is the non-derivative work. Um, to explain this, let's say you take that photograph of a bird and with the background, uh, with the trees and benches. Now, if, if I shared it with a non-derivative symbol, with the license saying non-derivative, that means whoever uses that picture has to use it as a whole. They cannot just copy part of it or use just the picture of the bird without the background. No, they can't do that. They cannot uh, cut it, paste it, remix it, that is not allowed. If you want to use it, use it as a whole. So that, that's what not non-derivative means. Now with these four symbols clearly in your mind, there are six licenses that you can think of. That there, there are there, the six creative common licenses. So you have the CCBY. The main criteria of this CCBY is that you should give proper credit and attribution. The CCBY SA, the give credit, and you, you can only share using the same license, which is the, of the original uh, content that was shared. The CCBYNC, you give credit, and you can only use for non-commercial purposes. 
the CCBY and CSA, non-commercial and only share with the same license. Then the CCBY ND, where you can, you have to give credit and you can only uh, use the original creation. You cannot tweak it, remix it, re and uh, cut and paste it. The last one is the CCBY and CND, which is again self-explanatory, non-commercial and non-derivative. So with these six licenses, which I think most of you are well aware of, your question may come, the next question that can come up is, how do I choose the license for my journal? Which is the best license for my journal? So that is a question that goes to the copyright holder. So if the copyright is transferred to the journal, then the journal is the copyright holder and the journal or the publisher has to decide what permissions they want to retain and what permissions they want to give out to the users. So for example, this is only for example, if the publisher decides, if the publisher is a copyright holder and the publisher decides that they want to retain the commercial rights and they don't want to give the commercial rights to the user, then you would put a CCBY and C license because with that the commercial rights are retained by the publisher and the users can only use it for non-commercial purposes. And if somebody wants to use it for commercial purpose, they have to come and ask the publisher. And if the pub publisher allows them, then they can use it. So this square, the answer to that question is with the copyright holder. If the copyright holder is the author, then it's, it's a general trend to have, if the copyright holder is the author, then the license is CCBY because it's the most liberal license. Whereas the CCBY and CND is the most uh, um, retaining license. So to apply the right license, there is this table here that I have online. The way to read the table is straight down and then you go left. So when you want to apply the license, you must think as the copyright holder, are you okay with if users distributed to colleagues? Yes. Are you okay if users want to post it to open sites? Would you be okay if they want to use it for commercial purpose? If yes, then use CCBY. But as the copyright holder, if you do not want them to use it for commercial, use CCBY NC or CCBY NC SA if you want them to share using the same license. So go through the table straight down and then towards the left. And that will answer your question on what license should I apply to my journal? So it depends on the copyright holder, what permissions you want to give to the users. Uh, if, if you want to be totally restrictive with your licensing, the most restrictive license is the CCBY and CND, which does not allow usage for commercial purposes. Uh, the reuser can choose a different license, but he cannot, use, he cannot make derivatives out of it. So this table should help you to answer that question too. Now, once you've chosen the right license, I have noticed that there are, uh, when you start applying them in your journal, there are some issues that I usually see when I review the journal. Uh, there are some common mistakes that I've seen. And these common mistakes are mainly because uh, the journal perhaps has not really seen the whole website. And I would make a strong recommendation that before you apply to DOAJ, just go through the whole website, check if all the information is consistent. If you mention CCBY on the first page in your open access policy, make sure throughout the website, you don't go and change the license or copy and paste something else. It, do not provide inconsistent information on your website. That leads to a, just a direct rejection. So let's look at some of the common examples that I've seen. I've come out with about three or four um, practical examples of incorrect licensing, and this is one of them. So this is copyright notice, a simple one where the authors retain copyright and uh, it is shared with the CCBY SA. So this is good so far, but then sometimes you have this all rights reserved at the bottom of this of the web page or sometimes within the PDF somewhere, sometimes on the abstract pages. I will see this 
all rights reserved and that cannot go with a CCBY essay with open access license. So do not use an open access license with an all rights reserved. You cannot give users rights. Uh, CCBY essay gives users rights to reuse the, uh, the article. And then at the same time, if you're going to say all rights reserved, then this is conflicting. And it just doesn't seem to make sense. So uh, this is one example. The second example, uh, this is an open access policy. So this, this is an open access policy statement that says it is fully open access. All the articles are available on the internet. And then if you see the highlighted portion, it says non-commercial use and distribution in any medium is permitted. But then the license applied is CCBY. So if you're going to say in your open access policy that it is a non-commercial use only, then you cannot apply a CCBY. The license that should be applied is CCBY NC. So this is again conflicting information, inconsistent information on the website. This is another example that I've come across a few times where the text of the license does not match the actual license that is applied. If you see this uh, screenshot that I've taken, uh, it says license to publish and then the first sentence says license and then the non-commercial use of the article will be governed by Creative Commons, etc. But the license applied is CCBY, but again, it is a non-commercial use of article. So the, the point I'm trying to make is this is all inconsistent information. It is conflicting information, which I've seen many a times in, uh, when I review the journals. So again, this is something that should be corrected. Uh, this is another example that I would like to highlight. The license policy is not consistent with the rest of the website. So usually I'll have a license policy and the license policy states that it is a CCBY. Everything looks fine. And then when you, when you go into the issues, the abstract page, the, usually the abstract page will have a different license over there. Like the one you see in the screenshot that I've taken, it's a different license. So either this is something to do with the technical aspect of OJS, or it is a copy paste error, or it is something that uh, you haven't reviewed. So these are some common examples of uh, incorrect way of licensing your journal, applying the license policy to your journal. Uh, one of the last uh, parts of my presentation today is about the embedded license. If, if you have applied to DOAJ, uh, you will see in the application form question number 45, it asks whether does the journal embed or display licensing information in its articles. Now this question uh, is uh, really misunderstood by many people all over the world. It's not just Indonesia. Maybe we need to reword it or we need to make it simplified or make it clearer in some way. But what this particular question means is that I'll have you indicated the licensing terms within the article both the HTML and the PDF. That is what this question means. Now, I would like to uh, say that this is not mandatory for indexing. Even if you don't do it, it does not mean that uh, it will not be indexed. But this is one of the best practices. And I would recommend that if you are able to get this done, please do get this done. So the screenshot shows an example of the embedded license. <clears throat> for the PDF, usually it's in the first page of the PDF or sometimes it's also in the last page of the PDF. Uh, you will see over there it says open access under CCBY NCSA. So even a simple uh, a text like that is good enough. You could also put the logo of the Creative Commons license. You could also add the explanation of it or the URL linking to the Creative Commons website to explain what that particular license means. So uh, why is this useful? This is useful because if anybody just accesses the article, not the complete journal, just your article, they know how to reuse and they know what the license is. It is embedded within the PDF, the full text PDF. 
So it is a very useful thing. It's also useful for machine readable uh, purposes. So this is a good practice, a best practice, and I would recommend this. Um, having reviewed uh, journals for the last two, three, two years plus from Indonesia, I have these specific three, I, I only came out with three today. So three improvements that I would suggest for any of the Indonesian journals that apply to us. The first thing is the language. I, uh, many a times I notice that the author instructions are in Bahasa, whereas the rest of the information is in English. Or sometimes the focus and the objectives of the journal is in a particular language and then the rest is in a different language. Or there's a mixture of languages. So this will lead to a rejection again. So what I would say is either publish all the information in English or publish all the information in Bahasa or all the information in both the languages. Or if you have a third language, publish all the information in all the three languages, but don't keep it a mix, half in English and half in Bahasa. That, that is, uh, is not done. It's confusing to the reader. The reader may not know English or he may not know Bahasa and the translation may not work well either. So that is one point I would like to make today. The second point is, yeah, the consistency of the licensing and copyright. Many a times when you, when the copyright is applied, uh, the copyright policy will says the author is reading the copyright, but then further when you go into the PDF, there is a conflict and there's a copyright line which goes to, it says it is transferred to the journal. Sometimes the co copyright transfer agreement is present, whereas it should not be because the author is retaining the copyright. So this is all very information which is not consistently uh, throughout the website. And this can be easily corrected by taking a look, reviewing it before you apply to us. Because once it is rejected, as most of you may be aware, you will have to wait for another six months before you can reapply. Now, the third point is avoid display and use of non-standard databases and metrics. Try not to display and try not to use those non-standard metrics on your journal website. So to summarize my short talk today is a checklist for licensing policy. Um, so this is a short checklist, it has four points. The first one is there must be a copyright policy and there must be a licensing policy. Uh, many a times when I, um, I review the journal and I ask uh, the journal editor to please add the copyright policy. They come back and say, oh, but it is already there. But what is there is the licensing part. There is no information about the copyright owner, about whether the authors are going to continue to retain the ownership or is the copyright transferred to the journal. That information is not there in a formal statement. So please have both the information, both the policies on the website, the ownership and the reuse, copyright and licensing, two different things, but working very closely together. Apply the correct license, the license that defines the permissions given by the copyright holder, just like what the examples I showed you, do not use uh, all rights reserved with an open access license and do not grant permission for a non-commercial purpose within your open access statement or within your copyright policy and then have the wrong license listed later. So make sure this is consistent. Understand what is what are the permissions that are granted by the copyright holder and then uh, accordingly apply the license. You can, like I said, uh, embedding the license in the PDF and HTML while it's not mandatory, it's one of the best practices and I would highly encourage that. The last and the fourth point for the checklist is check for inconsistent information, the licensing information. I think I've said that quite a few times now. So that is something that I would really like to stress on for today's talk. And with that, it's a short presentation. So thank you for your attention and I would like to answer your questions. Okay, thank you, Lena, for your explanation about this copyright and this license from uh creative commons mm -hmm. 
And yeah, thank you for your explanation about Creative Commons license. I mean, this is a very new information for us. Uh, there are many of uh, journal managers probably not read uh, the whole websites about the the whole website about this Creative Commons. So sometimes the information that they use in the beginning of the journals then difference in inside the PDF of the articles and so yeah. on. Yeah. And we have already someone who raising hand. Ibu Elisa Sesa, silakan di unmute. Uh, you can unmute your mic and then ask Lena directly. Okay, thank you. No, oh, I'm sorry, ini Bapak Alice. ya, maaf yes, Bapak. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's okay, sometimes happen. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, uh, uh, I uh, have uh, uh, what I want to say about the license. Uh, I already put the license on my uh, what's in the website, not in the uh, in our PDF, final PDF. But yes, yeah, so uh, you say that we should uh, put there before the uh, sorry before uh, applying the what's this registering to the doij or after oh. after uh, registering we put it before or we put it uh, after uh, registering or after uh, what i said uh, we uh, uh, what's this gimana pak bisa after you permit uh, after you got permission uh, Apakah itu menempatkan license itu dan uh -huh. uh, setelah disetujui uh, katakanlah DOAJ memberikan apa namanya artinya kita di lisensi ya lisensi gitu atau sebelum mengurus pada pengusulan kita uh, pasang gitulah oke okay. karena tidak ada yang bertanya yang lain belum ada yang masuk pertanyaan ke saya because we don't have uh, more, uh, ada Bu, Bu ada Retno, dua Bu Amelia ya, ya. Oh, ada Bu. dua ya Pak ya baru kelihatan ini ada dua there are two participants raise hand we will collect it all the questions the first question from uh, Mr S is talking about the lights and uh, how they uh, how they put the license is it before the OIG index or after? Uh, yeah, begitu yeah. ya, Bapak. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Before or after? Okay. So you you should finish your licensing policy. You should add your license before you apply for the uh, Okay. In, yeah. Jadi okay. dilengkapi dulu, Bapak ya. Policy exactly. dilengkapi yeah. dulu. Yeah. You have to complete in the, the right way. Okay. Yeah. Thank you about you know okay uh there are two more sorry to interrupt ibu juli the chat yeah. is disabled so how can i how can we use it for uh oh, apanya yang disable ibu raise hand dulu kali itu bu oh ya menurut hand sama chatnya nggak bisa baru ya baru baru bisa sekarang pagi masih di disable chat oke 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 chatnya di disable sudah oh oke okay, oke okay. baik Uh, sekarang saya persilakan untuk dua orang yang raise hand tadi Ibu Retno dan Ibu Amelia saya persilakan Ibu Ibu untuk uh, saya unmute ya silakan Ibu Retno masih bersama kami atau sudah iya oh, uh, ya, masih masih Ibu oke okay. ya, terima ya. kasih Uh, thank you untuk kesempatan kali ini. Jadi uh, sebenarnya Miss Lina ini adalah salah satu reviewer kemarin di OAJ kami dan uh, ke kemarin <laughs> ya makanya kita sempatkan untuk ada di forum ini karena kemarin kita memang gagal untuk uh, apa pengajuan untuk uh, indeksit ke di OAJ. Jadi pertanyaan saya uh, kebetulan sekali topiknya adalah mengenai copyright dan salah satu item yang Menjadi review pada uh, review yang dari Miss Lina itu adalah 
copyright kami. Jadi uh, mengenai copyright itu antara website dan juga full text kami memang berbeda. Jadi sebenarnya ini mungkin dari ketidaktahuan kami juga awalnya. Jadi yeah. uh, antara ya antara di full textnya dan di apa namanya webnya itu berbeda. Oke, okay, my next question is is it possible um, to add the icon of the license uh, sorry the copyright into the PDF iconnya apakah memang itu harus juga dicantumkan atau bagaimana karena kemarin yang kami cantumkan itu justru copyrightnya itu uh, di abbreviationnya di jurnal kami SJKP begitu padahal untuk publishernya ada dari stikas karya jadi kemungkinan itu uh, yang menjadikan bahwa uh, apa pemilik untuk penerbitnya itu berbeda dan juga copyrightnya tidak kami cantumkan itu ya jadi pertanyaannya uh, gimana tadi bu apa copyrightnya dicantumin atau enggak atau boleh, ya, logonya atau boleh kita uh, apa namanya langsung ke Miss Lina-nya untuk konfirmasi Bisa, barangkali ya, So the journal is uh, rejected. You know, rejected. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are the reviewer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, yeah and, Ms. and uh, Mr. Iwan Arif is also the reviewer, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, so both of yeah. us. <laughs> yes, that's because we responded too late. So, oh my God. So this is our our bad luck. <laughs> yeah, because of the response is late. Sorry. Uh, so that's why I try to confirm this. Yeah, to. Uh, Ms. I- Mr. Yeah. Ivan and also Ms. Lina. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. So you are asking about putting the symbols, yeah, putting the symbols of the license, whether it's on uh, yeah. the websites or also we have to put it in the article. So, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a difference. We have a difference, copyright, uh, between the article and also um, the website. So that's why I must not try to confirm it. And the secondly, um, we are confirmed at that time that our journal has been reviewed for the international reviewer. But actually, uh, we do not. Uh, we not attach uh, that point into our journal, but uh, Miss Lina said that your journal has a uh, uh, attached for the international reviewer, but uh, it doesn't be true. <laughs> the, itu akhirnya kami juga loh, kayaknya kami juga nggak cantumin, tapi kenapa di reviewnya dicantumkan? Maybe mungkin kurang kurang uh, teliti atau bagaimana? Kita juga mau konfirmasi itu. Oke yeah. oke okay, okay. okay. jadi. Uh... Saya agak bingung menjelaskan <laughs> karena it's the the technical problems about applying. So the first uh, question is about uh, whether the symbols of the license uh, should put in a website only, or we have to put it both in a website and also in in the articles. That's the questions. The first question and the second one is about the international international reviewer, ya ibu. Iya betul. Iya. International reviewers. Uh, international reviewersnya kenapa bu? Uh, jadi kami tidak mencantumkan kalau jurnal itu di uh, di di review oleh uh, internasional, tetapi uh, mungkin karena apakah dari jurnal kami semua dalam isinya itu bahasa Inggris, akhirnya uh, nyatakan bahwa uh, di situ reviewernya internasional, padahal kami tidak mencantumkan itu. Oh, jadi iya. kami agak bingungnya itu. Iya. Oke, okay, baik. Jadi sebaiknya apakah whether tadi Ibu pengen tahu mana yang better, mau pakai review internasional atau tidak atau gimana? Gimana, Bu? Ya, aja aku konfirmasi aja ya. Iya, konfirmasi aja. Mumpung ketemu sama Pak Iwan sama Miss Lina ini. Mungkin Pak Iwan nanti bisa bantu jawab Pak Iwan ya. Just just just, just Lina not, not me answering the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So But, um, I actually the, the first question. So. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So okay. I think I yeah. can answer the first and the second question now. Mm-hmm. Okay, the for the first question, probably Lena will answer about the putting the symbols of the license. So as I, as I mentioned uh, in my mm-hmm. presentation, uh, the licensing policy must be stated on the website. That is mandatory. It is compulsory, and it is one of our criteria for DOJ indexing. You should clearly state that on the website. You should have a formal statement, the logo, and the link to the Creative Commons website. So anybody who does not know what this logo is can click on the link, go to the Creative Commons, and read up about it. So that is compulsory if you want uh, to be indexed in DOAG. 
Now the second part about putting it in the PDF, mm -hmm. the full text PDF, that is optional, but it is a best practice. Oh, okay, so uh, Ms. Lina, may I confirm? So it is uh, possible to attach the icon of the copyright into the um, PDF. Can you can. Uh, uh, license, you, you mean the copyright and the licensing icon? Yeah. Uh, yeah, into the PDF because uh, I have uh, read, I have read the um, uh, article or journal PDF full text. It means, but attach the uh, icon uh, in the full text. Is it possible? Uh, from what I understand, you're asking me whether you can put the logo of the CC license. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, bu, boleh bu, boleh. Okay. You have to put it in the website. That's the combo. Okay. For the PDF, it's optional. Is that okay. correct? The PDF is optional. I think um, I think there is a misconception uh, between yeah. copyright and licensing. So the question is jumping around between those, those two terms. Mm. Uh, okay. The rejections is perhaps on licensing, mm -hmm. where the question is jumping between copyright and yeah, license. Yeah. 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 So. So uh, you need to be clear about copyright, mm -hmm. or are you talking about licensing? This my my I'm addressing the person who has the question. Are you talking about copyright? Is it about ownership? Who owns uh, the copyright? Is it is it with the copyright? The copyright. Yeah. So then you yeah. must oh, use the okay. word copyright, you can use the word license. License is okay. for reuse, how you can reuse the content. So oh, okay. if, if in your copyright policy you mention that the copyright has been transferred to the journal or the publisher, then I must see the same thing in the PDF. You cannot write something else in the PDF. Okay. Okay. Or don't write anything if you don't want to. <laughs> don't provide any consistent information. Okay. okay. See, uh, for for the information, you can contact the associate editor later, or the editors like uh, Pak Iwan dan Pak Ratodi sudah ada di sini semua. Baik, saya move ke yang lain ya, Ibu. Ada uh, there is uh, Pak Dawang. Uh, halo, Pak Dawang, bisa di unmute mic-nya, silakan Pak. Pak ya. Bu, ya, ya. Silakan, Pak. Ya. Ya. Uh, terima kasih atas waktunya and thank you Miss Lina for excellent presentation. What I would like to ask is about uh, applying CCBYSA license. Uh, if in the first statement is that authors retain copyright, jadi di statement pertama itu penulis mempertahankan copyrightnya. But uh, in the next number is that Authors might copy or publish the works elsewhere, but the uh, initial publication in this journal should be stated. Jadi uh, penulis itu harus uh, penulis bisa mengcopy atau mempublikasikan artikelnya di tempat lain, tetapi uh, initial publication terbitan awal itu harus dinyatakan. Nah, uh, what I'm going to ask is uh, whether it is uh, appropriate. Apakah ini sudah pas? Jadi tidak bertentangan dengan license CCBYSA. Thank you. Uh, Lydia, can you translate that? Can you, uh, yeah. do you copy that? Jadi ada perubahan transfer gitu dari perubahan license gitu ya Pak? Uh, bukan, justru malah kami nggak menerapkan copyright transfer agreement, tetapi uh -huh. dalam aplikasi CCBYSA. Di kalimat pertama kan penulis ada. mempertahankan copyright. Uh -huh. Tetapi kami juga menyatakan penulis dapat menerbitkan ulang, mengcopy meng artikel tersebut di tempat lain dengan menyatakan initial publication di jurnal kami seperti itu. Apakah ini sudah sudah cocok? Uh, Oke, okay, Lena, he is asking about the copyright transfer agreement because the copyright itu uh, In, the, in his journal, not transferred to the journals, but it's still the copyright is uh, in the author itself. But in a point of CC by SA, uh, there 
if they want to share, reshare, they have to, uh, who, let's say, uh, have the quote, yeah, to quote the first, the article, gitu ya, Pak, ya? Iya, enggak? Iya. Yeah. So, oh, okay. uh, gimana, Pak? Kayaknya ini... This, this um, is uh, uh, regarding question 52 and 54 mm -hmm. in uh, DYJ. Uh, the journal has uh, its license to the author, uh, sorry, the copyright to the author, and uh, it applies CCBY, SA, as I recall, uh, with extra statement that uh, everybody, a, 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 any third parties using their articles will need to uh, mention the journal name. Yeah, is, the it, journal. is it okay or? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's yeah. the question. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah. it is perfectly okay because you're you're giving credit to where it is first published. So yes. that that is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so, jawab ya Pak Dawam ya. Jadi boleh <laughs> mention. Yeah. Uh, what I mean is, is it not conflicting and it's okay? Yeah. Karena pasalnya, ya pasalnya nah, nah, dari. Yeah. Itu ya, pasal dari yang disebutkan Pak Dawam dengan yang ada di sisi by way itu ya. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But if the person okay. wants to reuse, they, they have to use the same license, CCBYSA. Yes. Give, give to, the, to the owner and you can mention where it was first published, which is the journal. Oke. Okay. Nanti bisa menghubungi teman di sisi ID Pak untuk menanyakan lebih jauh kalau itu kaitannya dengan copyright uh, yang ada pasalnya di sisi ID-nya di Creative Commons-nya. Ada bersama kita juga di room ini sekarang. Oke, saya ke pertanyaan selanjutnya ini sudah ketiga ya Ibu Amelia masih bersama kita Bu Ibu Amelia? Ya. Silakan Ibu. Oke. Okay. Uh, thank you Mbak. Uh, good night Miss. Uh, good evening Miss Lina. I think this is a very basic question because we just started the initial website in our international journal. Uh, my very basic question to you, Miss Lina, uh, should we, uh, what is the basic difference between the copyright policy, policy for the author and the licensing policy that you, you explained us about reuse? Mm -hmm. I think it's a very basic concept. Sorry if I ask you the basic question mm -hmm. because we are the beginner. And the second, if we are using the open access license, then you suggest us not, you are not using all right reserve, then what is your advice? What kind of, uh, 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 that, we, we, that we better to use as we do the open access license? Thank you. So, just like what I explained in my presentation, copyright is about ownership. So, yeah. your article is written by the author, the researcher. So, the person who created it, the person who wrote the particular article, he is the copyright owner, right? Just like when you take, a, you take your phone, you take a picture, you have created it, that picture belongs to you, you're the copyright owner. That's the basic message I want to bring today. Now, when you want to share it, how are you going to share it? You're going to give some permissions in advance. So that is your license. The permission you give as the copyright holder is the license. And for the license, DOJ recommends using Creative Commons license. And you can use any of the six licenses as per your wish if you are the copyright owner if the now your i think your other question is uh, let's say the author publishes an article in your journal what should your copyright policy be there are only two things that can happen either when the when the article is accepted by the author either the author continues to retain the copyright or the author signs a form a copyright transfer form and the copyright is transferred to the publisher, which is the journal. Now that copyright policy has to be decided by the publisher, by the journal. That the journal publisher must decide what does the my copyright policy and what is the licensing policy if 
you decide that the journal is a copyright holder. Yeah. Okay. okay. And yeah. the last question about all rights reserved. Yeah. So if you are using a open access license like CCBY, CCBY SA, do not use all rights reserved. That is all. <laughs> because by saying all rights reserved, you're reserving certain rights. But by using the license, you're giving away the rights to the user. So this is conflicting. So do not use the all rights reserved anywhere in the PDF or on the website. Because actually there is only some license. Yeah. Some rights being retained. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Probably this will be our last uh, question from Bapak Hamidi. Silakan Bapak. Pak Hamidi. Terima kasih Pak. Ya, sama-sama. Uh, perkenalan kami dari Universitas Mataram, uh, kebetulan di situ juga udah banyak jurnal di UNRAM, namun sayangnya sampai saat ini sa tidak ada satupun jurnal yang terindeks di OAJ. Mohon izin dalam bahasa Indonesia saya, saya Boleh, silahkan Bapak. Nah, kebetulan tiga bulan yang lalu jurnal kami juga sudah mengajukan ke OAJ dan direview oleh Mrs. Lena dan tetap di reject itu kami usulkan dari tahun 2016 sampai sekarang di reject di reject terus <laughs> saya nggak ngerti kami udah selesai saya mengikuti webinar ini saya tahu kesalahannya yaitu ternyata di copyright tersebut itu kan apa yang kami tulis di website berbeda dengan apa yang kami tulis di artikel syukur sekali saya bisa mengikuti ini dan tiga bulan ke depan saya akan perbaikinya mudah-mudahan bisa terindeks di aj Kemudian yang kedua, pertanyaan yang menjadi pertanyaan saya adalah, jurnal kami berbayar, Mbak. Jadi, uh. publis itu wajib membayar kalau mau dipublikasikan di jurnal kami. Tapi jurnal kami kan open akses gitu kan. Jadi bisa ditulis sama siapa saja. Namun apa yang menjadi pertanyaan saya ini adalah, kira-kira copyright yang cocok itu apa ya, supaya pengajuan kami untuk berikutnya itu ya, Jangan ditolak lagi lah, gitu kan. Mudah-mudahan seperti supaya bisa terindeks, supaya teman-teman eh, kami di Universitas Menaram ini semakin semangat, gitu, Mbak. Jadi saat okay. tidak ada satu pun jurnal kami yang terindeks, dua aja. Ada gitu, berapa Mbak. jurnal, Pak? Ada lima puluhan jurnal, Pak. Di, di, oh, di, lima puluhan jurnal. Gitu. Banyak sekali, Pak. Ya. Tidak ada satu pun yang terindeks, dua aja. Semua Baik. yang mengajukan kemarin semua ditolak, termasuk jurnal kami, gitu. Baik. Itu aja pertanyaan okay. saya, Mbak. Terima kasih. Ya, terima kasih, ya. Pak Hamidi. Oke, okay, Lena, this is Mr. Hamidi from Mataram University. So, he is telling the stories about... Uh, thanks, uh, he is telling us that there are more than 50 journals in Mataram University applied to DOAJ, and all of them got rejected. And... Uh, fortunately, oh, no, he no, no, no. us tonight. <laughs> yeah, join us tonight, so he can realize what the mistakes are. So one of the mistakes is the inconsistency of the copyright or license uh, put in the website and the articles. And the question is, uh, which which copyright or license the best license to put on the website from your recommendation? This journal has applied to DOAJ <laughs> and it still got rejected. Yeah, I, I forgot that. <laughs> Until last time. And well, is it three times or four times? So so it's no no three times a charm in his uh, word. Um uh, but uh, the the question is about the copyright uh, and which copyright is uh, correct for the certain license and how the he put the license in his journal and um, I, th I think uh, uh, he says uh, like Lydia said before that the joining this event opening his eyes on this <laughs> thing uh, why why he still got rejected for, or so he's 
hoping that there is no fourth or five, fifth rejection. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, Lydia. Thanks, Lydia, for the translation. So, <clears throat> yeah, the main point of today's uh, presentation, what I wanted to bring across is the same thing that try and avoid this kind of... I think you asked a question about what is the best uh, copyright and license for your journal. So again, that is a question that you have to answer. Uh, there is no best uh, license. There are six licenses in the Creative Commons. There is no best license. It depends on what you want. If you, if you want to retain the commerce, then you provide a CC BY and C license. If you do not want them to remix, retweak, to cut and paste your articles and then reuse it for some other purpose, then you provide a CC BY and D license. So it depends on what is the purpose for reuse. Or if you look at from the open access perspective, if you want to be really open access, then you can use the most liberal license, which is the CBY. So users are allowed to do anything, even use it. And uh, as far as the copyright is concerned, again, if you're looking from the open access perspective, the copyright being retained by the author is the most liberal thing. If you want, once it's transferred to the publisher, then the co authors do not have any rights on the article at all, other than the rights defined by the license. So there is no best uh, in this aspect. It, nobody gets a first prize for being the best. And that should answer your question. Okay, Bolitia. And uh, there is another question. This is, I think this is yeah. quite interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just... Uh, yeah, not, not not from me. This is from Bu Mutia Damayanti. Oh, yeah. oh. Uh, this is quite uh, interesting. In what license that copyright transfer agreement is needed? So this this still uh, makes a conception of uh, what is the copyright and the license. I think <laughs> that's that's the question, Lena. It, in what license that copyright transfer agreement is needed? <laughs> Uh, there is no answer to that. I mean, these are two different things. Yeah. If you transfer the copyright, then the journal is the copyright holder. And you can choose any of the six licenses. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But if you are the, if the author continues to retain the copyright, you can still choose any of the six licenses. So copyright and licensing, you, you have to understand it as two very closely related topics, but very different in its own uh, understanding, the way you understand it. Think of it as like, that's why I gave you a simple uh, analogy of taking a photograph and then sharing it. So if you want to reshare that photograph, whether you are the holder or you send it to somebody else and then they are the, you, you, it's the same license. You have the same six licenses that you can share. So it does not matter. Mm -hmm. I hope that answers. The yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, they they are two different things. Yeah, but they they have related uh, relations, very quite close relationship mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. But they are different. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, in our room today, we have Bufitria from CCID. It's all. Uh, she has already answered in a chat. Uh, in a chat about the link of. The end. The explanation about the copyright. Ah, uh, you. Buat bapak ibu bisa langsung ke chat ada di sana keterangannya bisa diklik dan bisa dibaca juga yang jawab dari teman kita di sisi ID Bu Fitria. Itu ya. Uh, I think uh, the questions and curhat dari Pak Hamidi tadi adalah the last questions. <laughs> Stories about rejected okay, journals. Okay. Yeah. Sudah terjawab ya Pak Hamidi ya. There is no best. Ya, sudah Mbak. Sudah, sudah ada, ada cari aja. Masuk masuk apa yang dijawab sama Mbak Lena itu. Jadi uh, kami akan memperbaikinya. Insyaallah 3 bulan ke depan itu jurnal kami akan trending aja, Pak. 
<laughs> ya. Nanti bisa menghubungi teman-teman asosiat editor ya Pak yang baik yang tergabung yang Maaf, ada di hari ini ataupun yang sudah tergabung di uh, di RJI ataupun tidak karena teman-teman asosiat editor sangat banyak di Indonesia. Uh, Lina, I think uh, this would be the end okay. of your sessions and question and answer. I know there are some of the gaps that makes our conversation not smoothly no running. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, we are really happy to have you here, and we 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 will also see you again on the fourth meeting, eight, right? Eight. On the fourth meeting, and we talk about another later. Thank you, Lena. You okay. can thank you. Yeah, you okay. can sit here or you can leave the room. It's I will leave the room <laughs> <laughs> because thank after this we will talk about the language. <laughs> okay, I, I okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye.